This is a normal level. You can die here, here, and sometimes here. This is a panga level. You can die here, here, and here. I've compiled what I think are Panga's three hardest levels, based on their clear rates, popular opinion, and technicality. All of these levels have clear rates of 0.01% and 0.00%. Note that I have beaten all of his levels with these clear rates, but these are what I think are his hardest based on this criteria. The gimmick of this level is throwing items into clear pipes for later use. Here I do a ground pound cancel to line myself up with the wall. You have to be very fast in this section to line up with the shell at the bottom. Here I throw the box into the clear pipe so I can grab it again later. During this juggling section, I'm counting in my head how many times I'm throwing each item. I do a spin twirl here so I can land on the box and long jump. I used a precise shortcut on this section, which is harder than what's intended. The intended way of doing this is waiting for this piranha to come out to make grabbing the box easier. But what I did was grab the box immediately after breaking the bricks, so I don't have to wait for the piranha. Oh, okay. The next level, Zero G's Given, has a clear rate of 0.00% and abuses the low gravity mechanic of the nighttime airship theme. The beetle falling from the sky is falling slowly from low gravity, but once you kick it, it goes back to full speed. Also because of the low gravity, you can surf on this bomb. Since items fall so slow, you're able to reuse them multiple times. This bomb has a tight timer, so you have to throw it before Mario explodes. Here you have to jump off the same spring twice to avoid the spikes. If you go too high or too low here, you'll hit the munchers and have to restart the level. The bomb juggling is the hardest part because you have to focus on hitting the left side of the bomb while still landing on the spring. And these shell jumps require very tight movement to make it to the dry bone shell. This last part is very technical, where you have to air stall using the dry bone shell, but also use the beetle to shell jump. This level took around 4 hours and was the record when I cleared it. The final level, Divine Garden, has the 5th lowest clear rate in the entire game. This is widely considered his most difficult Mario Maker 2 level so far. Now think about what to do. I've thrown it too early, thrown it too late. This ground pound has to be perfect, so you can line up for a wall jump. Throw it right in the middle. You have to long jump before the bullet blaster blocks you. Here you use a box jump to stall the piranha. Although it doesn't seem like it, this ice school is very easy to fall off of. I throw this box into the skip squeak so I can long jump. You have to throw the bomb immediately, or else it won't hit the piranha. You have to wait for this thwomp so it hits the switch on the left. Here I stall for this bomb on to hit the switch. The reason this section is so hard is because you have to be absolutely perfect to make this cycle. Here I retrieve the box I threw earlier and use it for a long jump. I jump to the left here so I have momentum for the final jump. Yes! Let's go. That was loud. Although I beat this in just under 3 hours, I got somewhat lucky with the clear. Most people took about 7 to 10 hours to beat this. That was good. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If everyone who watched to the end subscribed, and everyone who didn't watch to the end subscribed, we'd have 7 billion subscribers.